Okay, so we're going to look at using partial fractions when we integrate today. So a few of you have seen this before because we did it over Surface Weekend. I showed you an example of this, but we'll have another look. For those of you who weren't there, we didn't really take it down properly. So for my example, if I've got something like this and I want to integrate it. So this first fraction, kind of a telltale sign for this is that you've got your fraction at the bottom as two things here multiplied together. And what we need to do is we need to use these partial fractions to have a look at this fraction and rewrite it. So we want to rewrite this using those partial fractions that we did way back at the start of seventh one. So if I rewrite this with partial fractions, we can either have this as a over x plus one or b over x plus two. And if I imagine making this common denominator and solving it, I can probably really quickly say then three has to be equivalent to a times x plus two plus b times x plus one. And then the quickest way to do this is just to say, well, we want to make each of the bracket zero. So I'm going to start by saying what would happen if I let x equal minus two. So three would stay the same. If x was minus two, the x in this first bracket would be minus two plus two, that's zero a's. Minus two plus one is minus one, so that equals minus b. And that will give us that b equals three at that point. And if I let x equal minus one, in the first bracket here, minus one plus two is one, so that's just a, and minus one plus one, that's zero b's. So a equals three. So what I now know is that this fraction, the three over x plus one times x plus two, can be written as three over x plus one minus three over x plus two. Sorry, there's a minus in there, I forgot. Right, now using this, I can say, well, now I know if I want to find the integral of that whole starting point, well, I know now that that must be the same as the integral of, and I can split it into these two extra fractions. And then I know how to integrate something over x plus one. That just goes to a log ln, doesn't it? So that goes to three ln x plus one, so modulus, minus three ln x plus two. And because it's an indefinite integral, we're gonna have the plus c at the end. And what we're now going to do is I want you to have a look at page 361 in your textbooks and it's exercise 11.1 .1. and we're going to have a look at questions. We're not going to do them all. We'll do 1b, then 3, then 5. And if anyone wants a bit of a challenge, have a go at question six if you've got some time.